Hey, welcome back. Hope everybody is having a great Friday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, everybody, I'm going to show you every variant, every version of He-Man of the CGI line. Uh, from all his looks and styles, from everyone, from all the CGI show, from all, from all his figures. Um, of course, from the CGI brand, his Masters brand, and of course, the Origins brand as well. Um, as you know, or don't know, this is the only He-Man so far... In the modern day collecting has been appeared in all three brands or all three versions of the toy line. The CGI, the Masterverse, and Origins. And have a lot of fun, okay? Of course, if you are new to my channel or first time watching, I hope you will subscribe afterwards. I hope you'll hit that like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos. And please share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things. Masters of the Universe. Without further ado, let's take a look at He-Man and the CGI line. And of course, we did something very similar to this not too long ago with Skeletor. Uh, and with the same brand, seeing so look at every version of Skeletor. Um, of course, we have done it before with Masterverse Skeletor, Masterverse He-Man. Um, and of course, very soon, hopefully, um, I might do an Origins variant or version of all the versions of He-Man and Skeletor in the Origins line as well. But today... Uh, we got a, quite a few figures of He-Man in the CGI line, okay? So, without further ado, let's take a look at He-Man. All right, of course, starting off with his first version right here of He-Man that came out. Um, uh, I wouldn't say, I guess, part of Wave 1, I guess. This is the first version of He-Man in the CGI line. And believe it or not, with, with this line, I was very limited in getting any loose figures because I only have one loose version of him. Um, and that's it. That's all I basically do need is this version of He-Man here. The one that started it off right here. The the one that kicked off the CGI line. Got the logo of He-Man right there. A nice glamour shot of him. The uh, CGI version of their own Grayskull on Netflix. This was a Netflix show. Unfortunately, this line is now done with. Um, and speaking of this line, I just picked up one of my one of my pieces, one of my near I'm almost nearly complete with this line. I'm about 99% complete. I need one more figure. To complete this, I'll be 100% complete. And I'm, I think I've tracked one down, alright? But, of course, back to He-Man. Okay, there he is in the packaging. There he is, loose. A very different take on He-Man. Of course, the style this is more of a kid-friendly CGI version of He-Man. But, but it kept that same 5.5 scale as the Origins does. But in the vein of the kind of vintage line, in a way, with very little movement in the arms... Um, it has that same kind of attack waist that the vintage 80s version of He-Man did, but a very different take on style with the head sculpts, bigger, broader shoulders, um, bigger uh, power sword. Uh, you're going to see that quite a bit in this line. You know, it's it's not the figure itself, it's the outfit. It's going to be different for every version of He-Man we're going to show you, all right? But there he is. Where's the back right there? Very plain Jane back right there. And just... No bio, no story, nothing like that. It's just, you know, a shot of He-Man right there with his power sword, his power attack feature. Of course, the cross cell. All right. And moving right along. And right here in the center here. We got this version of He-Man, which is the same home exactly, but this one is the Power of Grayskull version that I found at Walmart back in the day. But there he is. This is the... Verse between Prince Adam and He-Man himself, this is him being transformed into He-Man with this look here, uh, with this yellowish, uh, almost see-through transparent uh, plastic, um, but does not glow in the dark. But it's a very cool uh, take on He-Man. Uh, the silver brings it out very nicely. All right, very cool. Same exact features. Another power sword. You get the same glamour shot of He-Man as well. All right, very cool. All right, Move back around. I mean, it's the same exact it's like glamour shot between the two figures here. Let me get back it up here. It's use the same exact artwork and design for their glamour shot of the back of the packaging. Just one is the power of grace, and one is the normal variants. No differences. All right, very cool. And I do apologize for the shaky cam at any point in the video here. All right. Get him right here. Now, speaking of He-Man, let's take a look here. Right, let's see here. Okay. Let's look at their 7-inch scale. This is the same exact version of He-Man we just saw with his first version, but just upscaled uh, from 7 inches. Um, uh, you know, very cool. Walmart, another Walmart exclusive. 
um, a very different take. Um, so, you know, not too heavy. Um, you know, some great detail with the figure. Um, came with his own power sword. But it's basically, like I said, like an upscale of his first variant of He-Man of this style here. This was, like I said, a Walmart exclusive and a big giant peg warmer for the longest time at Walmart. Um, but a very cool, very fun figure to look at. And there he is right there. All right. But an awesome, awesome figure. All right. Speaking of an upscale, where is it at? We got the Power of Grayskull variant as well. The same exact version of this Power Skull, Power of Grayskull version of He-Man. Just like I said, just upscaled. Another Walmart exclusive, another peg warmer, a shelf warmer for the longest time. It took some time to finally get this line completely out at my local Walmart. But that's still a fun, fun line. Uh, the detail is amazing once again. Uh, not, does, does not glow in the dark. But that's fine, you know, just a very fun version of He-Man. Alright. Alright, moving right along. And for the most part, most of my He-Mans that I picked up over this uh, uh, short lifespan of the CGI line was mostly uh, Walmart, believe it or not. I don't think I picked up any figure of... No, no, it was more down the road in the near the end of the run of He-Man that I had to go online to pick up uh, to complete the set, or st I'm still completing the set, but this, as far as He-Man is concerned, um, I am 100% complete. Um, but this next figure, what we got here? All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Savage He-Man. You know what? Let's, let's look at one of his first vehicles that he came out with from Walmart right here. And so here's the version of He-Man on his first ride here, the Ground Ripper, um, which is a very different take on He-Man, the style of the armor here, which is pure brown. Um, still a very cool figure. Um, fun, the detail. Like, as all these figures, the same face. They, ne they never changed the face sculpt. Um, something, you know, they never changed that face sculpt with He-Man in this line right here. Um, you know, the Power Sword is, was a very different take of the Power Sword, which is a pure yellow variant of the Power Sword, which is kind of odd. Um, but, uh, the ground ripper being a motorcycle variant right there, which is very unique, very different. Um, unfortunately this ground ripper, you know, did not have any special effects. No, you know, no pull string that, you know, allowed the wheels to move around. Um, it wasn't about the ground ripper. It was about the He-Man figure itself. Um, that, like I said, a very different take on the chest plate right here. Um, but he still had that really cool symbol right here, which is very cool. Um, I like very much, but there he is. There's the ground ripper variant or road or his vehicle variant or and one we still have another kind of uh ground or sorry another vehicle variant to look at something very recent that we just looked at um on the channel all right Put him right here go he-man right here sorry everybody all right what else we got here like i said there's quite a few figures of he-man in this lineup here all right how about his Savage Eternia? This is probably one of his final figures to come out in the CGI line here. This is from the Savage Eternia line here. I think this was a line that if the show had continued, I've said it many times, I believe the season four, because there's three seasons right now on Netflix. Uh, ch go check it out if you wish. Um, but the Savage Eternia uh, line, um, I, like I said, I think was a line that if the show had continued, this would probably be part of season four of the show. And a very cool version of He-Man. Now, I'm going to show you something. I want to point out something very unique about this He-Man here, okay? Um, something we just looked at in the new Eternia line of Thunder Punch He-Man, which I do have. Here's old Thunder Punch He-Man right here. A very cool take of, of He-Man. And if you notice, with the CGI version, that same, t uh, you know, lion, sorry, like lion-esque um, shoulder pad armor um, that the new Eternia version of He-Man we just saw... Of course, New Eternia line is, you know, a line that, you know, was left off, the, you know, on the drawing board, board floor that, you know, some very different takes of He-Man over the years. And the CGI line, you know, adopted that, you know, that look of, of their figures, well, especially with He-Man with that uh, Tiger-esque shorter, you know, armor, which is very unique. Hang on, everybody. Um, very cool. Um, so I guess you can say that the CGI line did it first, in a way, um, or at least adopted it on their toy line before the masters line but a very cool line i love the mini cringer type figure right here 
same exact power swords. You got the Savage Turia, same exact you know head sculpt they've seen throughout you know this whole entire run of this, you know He Man. You got the He Man Master Universe logo, Masters, but a fun, fun variant of He Man. A very cool variant of him. Very cool. There he is with the all black. Um, I guess, I guess the, the first variant is the same way. Um, a different type of sash in the front right there from his um, first variant right there. But a, still a great version of He-Man. And I love the fact that they took that same as like lion armor right, that we've seen uh, most recently in the CGI Masterverse line. I'm sorry, Masterverse New Attorney line. Uh, and they put it on this figure here. It's a great, great figure. All right. see here but we're not done yet everybody we have more to go more to go and in fact let's dive to another brand speaking of masterverse here is his masterverse version of the cgi variant of he-man um for part of the 40th anniversary um very cool very unique very big bulky uh version of he-man like 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 the, the toy line itself from the cgi line uh, small head sculpt, big, you know, big broad shoulders, um, you know, captured him very good, I guess, in the Masters line. Um, not heavy, you know, believe it or not, this is not a heavy figure. Um, but a fun, fun variant of He-Man, there he is, part of the CGI Masters line, alright. And I do hope, you know, I think I think I said this before in, in a previous video, you know, I do hope, you know, Masters... Will give us the other variants of the CGI line in their in their Masters line. They did it with He-Man. They did it with Skeletor. Let's get a, you know, a Beastman variant of the Masters line. Uh, you know, Tila, Sorceress. You know, um, Man at Arms. You know, Trap Jaw. I do at some. I do hope at some point, um, in the Masters lifestyle or lifespan, and, and and even even in Origins, um, they will give us the CGI variants of their figures. In Masters form and Origins form, and I do have a loose version of that particular He-Man um, in my collection. Um, a fun, fun version, like I like I said, a very fun detail, looks great. Um, head, I think the head is not too bad. It should be a little bit bigger, but you can see the big, broad shoulders of this variant, and of course that variant of, of Power Sword um, that came with this variant of He-Man. Very cool. All right, put him right here. All right. And we are moving right along here. But we have another upscale variant of He-Man. Get it right here. And it's this version of He-Man, which is almost the same exact style of the normal variants of He-Man from his Walmart. So this this version of He-Man um, is almost... Oh, get the, get the light out of here. All right, guys. Um, same exact uh, outfit. Um, the only difference is, of course, the power sword is the front of the packaging. And the gold armor around him. Uh, it just says He-Man. There's, you know, there's no rhyme or reason, you know, with, 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 the, with the gold armor. You can make up anything if you wish. Gold armor, He-Man, if you wish. Um, almost similar to the, in a way of the, well, no. Is that one? Like I said, there's so many versions of He-Man. The CGI line is crazy. No, there's nothing. So, I can guess you can say some gold armor variants of He-Man, you know. Same exact head sculpts, you know, but a fun, fun variant right here. Uh, seven inch scale. Um, I got this at Amazon.com right there. And speaking of which, this version of Merman right here, you see right here, um, is the only version of Merman, I believe, that I need in my collection to make it 100% complete. Um, now, very interesting. Let's see here in the back here. Aha. Now, I don't know if this was the artwork itself, but if you see the the... The sparkles, or whatever you want to call it, on the on the figure. Is that supposed to be like that? Huh. No. So, it's just a bad picture shot, I guess, of the figure here. It looks like he has, like, some sort of stars or sort of, like, solar or, you know, galaxy-type effect. Galaxy-type He-Man, um, which is not the case because it's just the artwork or the picture itself because... The figure itself does not have some sort of glitter to it. So very misleading, I will say, with this figure here. But still, I'm happy to have it in my collection. All right. So I get him back here. Get his bump right here. All right. Now, where are we moving on here? Let's see here. How about this version of He-Man? We're getting near the end. All right. Kind of. 
but we have this version, kind of another gold armor variant of He-Man. Um, I would consider this one, to me, in a way, the vein of maybe the Thunder Man, not really Thunder Punch He-Man, but this gold armor looking variant of He-Man, uh, kind of near the end of the line. This is where, in this line, the, the toy line was trying anything in desperate to to make sale, um, giving us collectors, if you wished, if you did collect this line, uh, just a, a, you know, a way to just try to figure out yourself in hand. You can feel it, um, see the detail. Um, uh, very cool. Like I said, all these versions of He-Man in, in his own way is a very cool version of He-Man. Um, he looks really cool. Uh, he's got this cool, this really cool armor-esque shield and sword here. A very different take on the sword and shield from the, you know, from the power sword. Um, you can actually feel it. He has this really cool, soft, good cape here in the back. Um, just a very neat design of He-Man. Uh, later in the lifespan of the CGI line. Um, got this, I don't know what this is, bone around him. Does still have that, that that same action feature call out? Um, fun, fun. I I can say one one thing I have to say, I have to say about this. Um, this line was not for everybody. I get it, but for me, the the one thing I would say that describes this entire line of CGI figures to me, one word is fun. This is a fun line to collect, um, and a, and a shame, a shame that this line did not get the push that it needed um, with us collectors um, from Mattel, but. Still a fun line, and it's fun. I, I just say it, it's just fun, and 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 this shows it right here with the different style of the packaging, allowing you to you know just, just have some fun with it and just seeing how it feels and the looks, you know, moving the arm up and down the head as well, giving that that same modern style look of He-Man, a different take on He-Man, but part of the like with the same vent or I'm not vent, the same uh, 80s style, I guess. Of the 80s variants of He-Man, very, very, very little articulation, but still a fun, fun figure, and that's what this line is to me is fun. All right, but we're not done yet, everybody. We still got ways to go here. Okay, now this version we saw with Skeletor. This was a Walmart exclusive version, double pack of He-Man and Skeletor, um, and I really feel like I said before when I when we did the review of Skeletor, is if the line had continued. Um, I really feel like we've gotten multiple double packs of other figures in the line of CGI line. Um, you know, Man in Arms, Trap Jaw, Evil Land, Sorceress, and so forth, you know. But unfortunately, the line did, you know, end and the show's now done. But this is still a fun, fun variant of He Man. And a very, it's basically the same variant of Wave 1 He Man, which I have here. And the only difference between. This variant and this one, as you can see, it's got the the yellow esque tattoos around the arms, I guess showing the the power of Grayskull in his veins, basically. But still, very cool to have in the collection. All right, uh, and the dope pack is beautiful. You got this uh, this probe droid or like like training bot. Uh, Skeletor's Havoc Staff, the pure green variant of the Havoc Staff is amazing, see-through. Um, you know, but He Man is amazing, absolutely amazing. All right. All right, yeah, got to get more stuff down here. All right, we are nearly the end of the road here. Very close. Of course, you can't have He-Man without his battle armor look right here. And there is battle armored version of He-Man. A very, very different take of He-Man in the, in, the, in the battle armor look right here. Um, uh, no damage. This was a different, like I said, a very different take of He-Man in the battle armor uh, you know, look of him, the full red armor right here that can be removed, but of course, um, a battle armor, you know, that I'm not used to, uh, of course, with battle armor He-Man, we're all used to the, having that battle damage in the chest plate, uh, this version of He-Man did not have that, but, it, it, you know, like, this whole series itself was a very different take of He-Man in this universe, a multiverse of He-Man in this universe, this is the, his, his version of, of the uh, battle armor, um, a big, broader version of the 7-inch scale, a much wider deluxe figure here of the uh, upscale of He-Man, as you can see right there. But this was his battle armor look right here, a very unique style. There he is in full-on battle armor mode. He had a, hel a helmet there as well. But we're not done with the scale, by the way. I found another variant of He-Man in this same type of battle armor style here. 
um, which is the Savage Armor He-Man. Now, this version of He-Man, I will say, is more in the Savage Armor uh, tone from that 5.5 scale we just looked at uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, the only difference between, you know, is the sword. The sword is, has a very unique style to it. But once again, you can see the style that same uh, lion s battle armor shoulder pads that the you know the the new attorney uh, thunder punch he met just we just saw um same exact fa face sculpt there's no difference um just more upscaled wider frame version of he-man it's the sword that does is different uh it has this really cool uh action effect when you open up and you're showing him like as i guess in a way where he's about to blast like maybe like um cringer in a way uh, to transform Cringer to Battle Cat, but unfortunately, that's not how it w worked in this line. Um, every version or every figure in this show, like I said, is very different. If you if you never experienced the show before, and you're like, "What are you talking about?" Um, this version of the show, everyone knew who He Man was. Everyone called down the power of Gray Skull to transform themselves to their um, to the more upscale or more you know unique Masters of the Universe figure. Um, and same thing with Skeletor and his brand of bad guys. So, a very different take. But I do love the sword here, alright? A very cool version of him right there. I mean, of the sword right here. But there's old He-Man right there. Alright, we're down to two figures left, guys. Alright? <laughs> Let's try to get these guys here, of course. We just looked at this variant of He-Man right here from this from the, uh, from the uh, CGI line. Part of the, the last ride. This was the last... No He-Man I needed to, to complete my CGI collection here. Um, he is, I found him at, at Amazon. Uh, uh, the same exact, almost Savage style He-Man figure we just looked at, but as you can see, the shoulder pads is all fully blacked out with the lion heads right there. Um, same black, you know, attire. And I guess He-Man was known for his black attire, you know, in this entire CGI line for the most part. Um, you know, he has a black sash in front of him, uh, a very weird looking version of, um, Stridor here. Um, I don't know how would I take about this, uh, with the Stridor, it, it, but it wasn't really, it, it was, Stridor was very unique, but it was about He-Man, getting that final figure of, of He-Man I needed in the collection. Um, so this is the final version of He-Man that came out in the CGI line. Um, I believe, unless the, I'm missing one, but this is it right here. All right, but we're not done. We are not done yet, <laughs> believe it or not. We have one more figure to look at, and then that will be it. And look at this. Look at this. It's like almost completing my entire table here of, you know, figures. Here. But we're not done. There is one other CGI figure of He-Man that we have not looked at. And this was part of the four-pack Mattel Christie exclusive line. And it's this variant. This is probably the best variant hands down, which I saved the best for last, that came out in the CGI line, this variant of He-Man here, the head sculpts are perfect, I mean, for the first time, you got a bigger head sculpt than the, you know, the shoulders itself, but he's, they still captured that look of He-Man in the Origins baseline here, right, very cool, um, a fun, fun Origins base figure of He-Man, the detail is great, uh, the, the, you know, the shoulders are perfectly, you know, you know, squared to his head sculpt i mean the head sculpt is like not tiny like we've seen with every other version of he-man of the cgi line a uh, fun the artwork in the back is beautifully done right there captures that cgi look with the power sword and their own version of gray skull which i have shown in my on my channel before that gray skull playset is fun it's a fun like like, like i said like i said one the one word i would describe this entire line to me is fun this was a fun line to collect and i'm hoping to get that final figure to do a 100 percent completion and fun it's all it's what uh, it's all i can say is fun now i know that this was not a line for a lot of people i get it you know this it, some people you know thought that this you know the toy line was ugly and you know and and rightfully so it was a very different take i will say on this line here of you know but I don't mind change. I don't mind something different. You know, giving us that, that core element of this amazing line, um, but changing up a little bit for the new generation of collectors. This is a fun line to collect uh, if you're a new new to the land, you know, of, of collecting. But there you go, guys. There's a look at every variant of He-Man that has come out in the CGI line. All right. And like I said, I do hope the Origins line will adapt 
all the you know the other figures and masters as well other figures as well in the cgi line right but there you go guys all right i'd like to take the time now of course to thank my subscribers thank you so much for joining me guys um, this has been a lot of fun um of course don't forget to hit that, hit that notification that, don't forget to hit that notification bell when you upload new videos and tomorrow we'll be doing another unboxing from the thundercast line i'm going to be unboxing slith tomorrow uh, on the channel on uh, uh, Saturday all right hopefully Black Friday is now here and I hope you guys get some great deals and some great figures uh, to add to your amazing collection online at retail all right so I hope you guys have a great Friday and I'll see you guys on Saturday take care and have a good one everybody